Uh, good morning. I'm going uh, out with Bo. It's a cloudy day. I'm going out with Bo to get uh, the glass out. We've had a birthday party yesterday, so we've got some bottles. And uh, then um, I just took the trash out, but uh, on another location than uh, the village, and uh, there are no glass uh, containers. So uh, I'm going into town uh, with Bo, uh, turn the glass, and then uh, have a cappuccino. Ja, we zijn vanuit het dorp een beetje verder uh, over een fietspad had uh, Colin, dat is een uh, Engelsman die al 30 jaar in Frankrijk woont. Ja, yeah, there uh, is a bike path along the coast to the next uh, town. And I heard uh, about this path from Colin. It's an Englishman uh, who's been living in France for 30 years now. And he's uh, our neighbor since a few days. And uh, yeah, he was here in town um, before, so but now he uh, put his van next to ours. So yeah, it's always nice to have uh, some friendly people around. And uh, yeah, he told me about this path, so I thought I'd check it out with the bag now. But it starts raining, and I don't want to get soaking wet. I don't know how long the rain will continue and how far it is to the next town and I already heard that the next town nothing is really open from uh, a guy yesterday so I think I want to turn around now uh, back to our town and then have a cappuccino and then uh, yeah slowly head back to the van and uh, see uh, what we can do Lege, hey, honey. That's all. Yep, we're uh, heading back to uh, the fans, to our camp. Just stopped at the taverna to get a cappuccino. And uh, yeah, I ran into the manager of the hotel in the next town. And uh, he, uh, he told me news from 15 minutes ago that uh, they are also deciding to put the military in the street here in Greece. We're very lucky that uh, the closest base is like in Kalamata. So that's, yeah, about 50, 60 kilometers out. So he, he was expecting that maybe they drive through here once every week or something to just show their presence, but uh, that we won't be bothered by it uh, that much. So yeah, curious uh, <laughs> to see how that looks. And uh, if they are as friendly as uh, the police is uh, up to now, so yeah, the locals are not that worried, so they still think they're in one of the best places to be in this crisis. But yeah, let's see. A little bit dark, I try it with a light and stuff, but it doesn't really work. So I'm gonna do it just gonna do it like this. Uh, I'm back in the van, we just had a few beers together, and um, I'm with um, Colin. Andreas, Milena, Marijke and myself and um, we are in the harbor of the town that we were already in. It was a very strange day today so I, I plan to do a little bit more video and uh, like uh, a corona update like uh, yeah it's because up to, to the up till today there wasn't really a problem everything was perfect but um, when I was out on the bike this morning, I came back to town and I saw Colin driving by. Uh, when I got to our location, um, I got the news that the police had stopped and that we were instructed to leave. So they had a phone call because the police really doesn't care about it at all. 
but they had a phone call so they had to enforce and there's no camping allowed there and they didn't want to but they did have to fine us about 2000 euros per car so we really don't want that so we moved out but yeah you yeah you you, you will see then on a day like this uh, it all goes sideways um, I was out by, out by myself with Bo and the bike as you have seen and bringing out trash and stuff like that but uh, I'm very glad I didn't go to the next town and turn around but uh, because yeah I was still in time uh, uh, Milena and uh, Andreas were getting their vehicle ready to move off the location and uh, but yeah Mareka was on her own going up the mountain today so I immediately called her to come back and um, she did a bit but I already cleaned everything up so she only had to start a vehicle and move it from the plot uh, because the police said yeah uh, try to get it sorted as quickly as possible and uh, don't take hours to uh, move out uh, so someone yeah complained the police said someone complained and um, because we were camping there and uh, they got some pressure from above and they had to enforce so that was how sad because the police officers they were really nice and they didn't care at all that we stay there but yeah situation like that so now we are in the harbor of the same town it's it's all right for one night it's no problem uh, i you really can't hear anything here but the sea um there are the tavernas right at the harbor uh but during the time that we got here more news and news came in um, one thing is that um, from tomorrow I believe the military is going to be in the streets to enforce the rules that have been put into place the locals here are not really afraid about that or something they because the first military base is like 50 60 kilometers out so they do think that maybe once every day or whatever, every other day, they drive through just to show their presence and that's it. But of course, the police is more, yeah, a local. So they, they are not really that strict. And now with the military coming in, they do have to enforce the laws because of course they don't want to be blamed when the military comes in and says, hey, this is one big peep and um, we can't have that. So, yeah, the police is a little bit more strict at the moment. Um, the other thing is that from tomorrow, 6 o'clock, so when you're watching this video, because it's now the day bef the evening before, so when you're watching this video, it's already in place because of 6 or clock in the morning there is going to be a total lockdown here in Greece so no moving and it's going to take two weeks we talked to several people today here in town that know us by now owners of Tavernas locals that we met and we've got a few options and um, tomorrow afternoon we're going to be showing a few plots that we might be able to stay we are with four vehicles at the moment and um, it will be really nice if you can stay on a private property because then the police or whatever it can't can do it because uh, Andreas and Milena got little kids and that yeah of course you it's very difficult with the little kids they drag out toys and they put the bike down and stuff like that and that's not allowed in the harbor where we are now so yeah we'll see how that works out but um so that's tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow we're going to go shopping because the supermarket is right across the street now. Uh, we got a phone number from um, the Taverna owner that should work tomorrow where we have to put in like, what are we doing? Because we're not allowed in the street. So we got to send a text to a phone number and say like, I'm going to the grocery shop. I need to go to the grocery shop now uh, in town, blah, blah, blah. And then we get a text back probably that says, okay, you're allowed, go. 
So we'll see how that goes because it doesn't work yet. I, use, I tried to use the phone number this evening and it doesn't work. So hopefully from tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it, it's a very strange day today. I wanted to give you an update about, yeah, it's not that bad here in Greece, but today everything turned sideways. We had to move up our location. We are in the harbor now. We're all fine. It's no problem. Uh, we're still together. And uh, um, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get a spot at a private space, at a private property. So everything is probably going to be all right. But... Um, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit strange now, of course, and uh, some people do worry, but yeah, I'm mostly positive, and uh, I think it will work out tomorrow, we'll just go to the supermarket, uh, hopefully the tavern is still open, we can get a coffee, and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see, it's, uh, I don't know. We went out for dinner this evening, of course, with a strange day, we didn't want to cook, and uh, so we went out, there was no problem either. So yeah, I just hope we can stay in this very nice village because it's it's got everything you want. Uh, and um, yeah, but yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys anymore. I'm just gonna close off this video and this video. And uh, yeah, I'll, when I know more, I'm gonna update you guys, so. Hang tight wherever you are and uh, stay healthy, I would say.